It's episode it's two. Episode two. It's episode two. Um, We're in bed. We're talking about burnout. I'm so sad. I'm, I'm so I'm so burnt out right now. Also, it is the same day. It is. We just. I don't have my phone to prove the time. I stick forks, I stick and, forks sockets. and sockets. I'm just wearing my like, sweater um, that I wear to bed. But it's the same day. We're just doing like, off. costume changes, if you will. Okay. You know the, you know how it is. You know how it you is. Know how you it know is. what we're talking about. <laughs> you specifically know you what know we're what talking we're about. about. So Amelia. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Amelia. Yeah, Amelia. Nah. Okay, so the reason we're in bed is because we're talking about burnout. We're talking about burnout. And like when I you're said, burnt out, you spend Spend a lot of time, a lot of time not doing not anything. doing anything in bed. You feel <laughs> like shit because you've done all You've used you up all used your energy. Up. All the creative energy is dead. So you sit in bed. Hey. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can remember. <laughs> what she said. Um, a lot of the time, I like I get burnt out like really easily, like really fast. Um, with like animation and stuff. Like with writing. I feel like I can do it for a long period of time, but with drawing and stuff, I, I get burnt out, like, really e- easily. Yeah. So, I usually, I'm like, but I have all these ideas. I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna make this story, I'm gonna make this trailer, I'm gonna make these two animation memes, and, and then I'm like, I'm excited, right? So I go and I tell everyone about it. I'm like, I'm gonna do I'm gonna this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make you so excited that I'm gonna do that, and then I never do it. Because, like, when I get burnt out, I usually, I just, like, scrap the project. I'm like... Well, it doesn't really, like, I'm not going to do it anymore. Or I'm not going to do it in the same time frame, so, like, w- what's even... What's the point? What's the point? And get rid of it. Huh. And then I just, like, delete it and it becomes lost media forever. Oh. Yeah. I feel like my burnout is more, like, like, I get so exhausted of doing something that, like, I, like, just don't want to do it anymore. Like, I, like, still have, like, the creative, like, vision to do it. you just, it. like, can't make yourself do Yeah, it. I'm just, like, oh, but this is, like, so, like, I've been doing this for days on end. Especially with, like, like, stuff for my business and stuff. Because mm-hmm. I do, like, artist alley at anime conventions or whatever. And so, like, making all the stuff for that, like, and getting everything ready, I was just, like, constantly, like, oh. Like, currently, I'm, like... I have, like, four crochet orders I need to fulfill, and I'm just, like, procrastinating, because they're, I just, like, I'm, like, I can't be creative right now. I just want to sit in bed. I feel like... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's why we're in bed. Guys, that's why, we're in, why bed. we're in bed. Um, I usually feel, like, procrastinating, like, worsens my burnout, because I'm, like, no, I will do it, I swear. And then I just don't just do it. Don't like, do I somehow, yeah. like, feel worse about it. I'm like, it's just, like, the looming thought of that I have to do it in my mind that just makes me, like, even more burnt out. Like, I'm just like, I've done so much already, but I haven't even done that much. It's like I do, like, one frame, and I'm like, I'm no, done. No, it's over. It's done. I'm done. I'm over, uh, I'm over it. I'm I can't. Over it. I have to call the quits. Like, I, I've, I'm actually completing Voyage, my short film now, and I have been... For four months. It's two... <laughs> You're gonna do it. It's I'm so excited. Currently two minutes and 50 seconds, I think. Four months for two minutes. It's like, I just, I need a lot of breaks, man. I, I get... Like, I'm really glad I didn't decide to, like, scrap this one. Because I'm actually completing it. But, like, because I get burnt out, I take much longer on things. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're, like, doing other stuff that doesn't pertain to that, like, going to schools and, like, errands and whatnot. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, well, I still have that to do. And then you kind of just, like, keep procrastinating it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's good with that you, like, like, not compl- Like, if you scrap it, then you really can't come back to it. But if you don't scrap it and you leave it, then there's, like, a large chance that you're going to come back and be like, Oh my goody gum drops! So I can complete this. <laughs> oh my goody gum drops! <laughs> I can do my this. animation. That's exactly how I do it That's all what the you time. Say That's why I say, time. "Oh my goody gum drops!" What's exactly happening here? Exactly like that. Like exactly that. Exactly. 
but yeah so like breaks are helpful it does make you take yeah i mean longer it's, to do it. it's definitely good to take breaks because then you get less burnt out but it's like i feel like it's pretty unavoidable for me yeah it's kind of just like inevitable and like which like it's fine you like it's you're able to handle it eventually but like especially like like with things that have like a time limit or like a timeline to when you have mm-hmm. to complete it and you're burnt out then you're just like oh my gosh like no, like i a, can't especially with the time pressure like um i'm usually you know i'm just talking about my animation stuff it's like what do you, you don't have time pressure you're just doing that but like when i'm for example using other people's voice lines i feel kind of inclined oh, to, to work faster work faster because then they're gonna be like how long is it taking, you know, like, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, hurry Which up. Which I know well, nobody's doing. Hurry up, come on. <laughs> Every then, single morning, I open my phone and I text you, when the hell is Voyager going to be done? I want to hear my voice. I want to hear me speaking it. No, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I get anxiety about it because I do about everything. I'm like, oh, this is, this is, like, pretty awkward. I'm a one-man team, you know, and I'm like. <laughs> one-man show. I'm a one-man show. I gotta, I gotta get it done soon. And that's, like, another thing that ties into the press procrastination of, like, it's, like, just looming. It's, like, you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to. You're going to have to eventually. But you don't have to right now. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> like maybe just push it back a little Okay, okay, okay. I don't have to work on it right now. I'll work on it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I say that and way too much. Yeah, it's way, it's way too bad. Um, okay. Hobby theory. What is hobby theory? Okay. So, there's an artist... That I watch, mm-hmm. who was like, if you have really bad burnout, the thing you should do is get hobbies, because like hobbies that don't relate. I thought to you were going to talk about hobbits. You wrote it like hobby, but like I E and not a Y. So I just assumed is that it how was hobby like... spelled? <laughs> I think it's H O B B Y, right? I thought this was like hobbits. I thought it was like okay, the, the ancient theory of how to cure your burnout. No, okay, no, go, go on. Hobbits. You get a lot of hobbies. hobbits. I didn't know. That's so funny. Uh, no, I guess I spelled that wrong. I spelled it H O B B I. Oh, H O B B I E. Hobbies. Hobby, hobby. Okay, no, but so okay. you get a lot of hobbies. So you like start collecting hobbies because then like, like, ugh. Oh my gosh, I've got... This is a skit. We're starting like a skit. <laughs> no, I assumed. Because, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta get a lot of hobbies because, oh my uh, gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have to. So it's like, it's like, oh, I'm fulfilling this order. And, mm-hmm. oh, oh, like, I can't. Like, I'm so burnt out. So then I put it down and I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go play Stardew Valley for 15 minutes. So then I play Stardew Valley for 15 minutes. Or maybe I go walk around. Like, my hobby becomes walking. <laughs> like walking you go and walk. My walking. hobbies become biking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, the notifi- I am not a twink. Just quite the opposite. The, the notification goes, I am not a twink. Yeah. Okay. Quite the opposite. <laughs> quite the opposite. Okay. Sorry, what are we... <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, so you, like start doing hobbies because then it's like a distraction from what you were doing before so then you're like you have other options it's like like you're creatively burned out so instead like you go you use your creativeness in like a different outlet yeah like you put it into something else like a lot of people like i can't say this because crochet is like my current job ish but like like if i was like drawing something and i was like oh i'm so burnt out then i'd like go learn to crochet or I'd, like, go learn how to bind books. Or, like, something, like, you, like, throw your creativity into yeah. something else. And that can help you, like, relieve what you were feeling about the other thing. And then, like, it's give you inspiration for the other thing. doesn't really help it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll, like, lay in bed, do nothing, and just be like, I have to do the uh, thing. And then just never do it. Exactly. But I have been biking more lately. Oh. And I'm I really don't like walking or biking, but biking gets me places faster. And if I'm by myself, I can take as many breaks as I want. So also it's like I um walked a lot in school. Mm-hmm. And so I don't want my legs to completely atrophy because I just don't do anything <laughs> anytime ever. So now I've been biking, so that's something. So that's good. I don't know how much it's helped me with burnout though. 
Yeah. Sometimes I just put stuff off because I, like, know it's going to be hard to animate because I haven't animated something like it before. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, different. Yeah, but that's not really burnout. That's just a me thing. It's just avoidance <laughs> just at that me point. Thing. But I guess it just, like, it can get you really in the dumps. And, like, also, mm-hmm. I feel like, um, my therapist always tells me that, like, if you're having trouble like working on something or getting something done to switch the room you're doing it in it in i've heard that um i know that's not exactly mm-hmm. possible for you yeah but um <clears throat> if you like move to other places like like i can't like i don't do homework in my bedroom i try to do it like at my kitchen table yes but downstairs yes, is sometimes not the yeah best but like environment it's no because of that then it's like it's like the theory of like your place that you need to relax becomes your workplace so you're never really relaxed in it yeah exactly which sucks which is not so then like and that's like also like like that's why people go to like coffee shops to do their stuff because like it's like almost like the pressure of being around people like that like it's like almost yeah. like you have to work because people are watching I've you. heard um from this person that was in my field biology class, they were like, you know, having you around, like, it wasn't even partner work, they were like, having you around kind of makes me feel like, like I'm, like, working harder because they're, you're there, you know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. I'm really bad at talking sure. to people. I was like, okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. But yeah, I feel like, like, people, because then you're like, oh, like, I'm not alone. I can't just, like, flop and stare at my phone or read a book when I should be doing something else it's, it's like the one time my anxiety is helpful it's yeah like, it's like they're gonna they're, judge you. they're gonna judge me if I'm not doing something do productive especially when you like bring your stuff to do it so then you're like ah um yeah I mean like burnout is a very prevalent it happens to everyone yeah right? like everyone like I, I feel like gets burnout it's unavoidable but like for some people it's like they can do they can go for much longer without burning out. Yeah, like, there's some people who are just, like, I feel like workaholics, specifically. Yes. They just can, they can just keep going. But I feel like there are some workaholics that get burnout and then just, like, somehow repress it. Like, They're I don't just know, like, no, I'm not burnt out, I'm fine. how it happened. Like, my dad is, like, burnt out 24-7 because he's always doing work. He's, like, a vice dean, right? So he has the arts and sciences buildings to take care of and stuff. And he's like, I have five meetings. I have five meetings every day for the next five days. I'm like, he'd be like how, how do you, you keep not, like, doing that? Yeah. And like, again, it's not like, burnout is not just about like art. Like, it happens a lot for artists. But like, burnout is like an everyone thing. Like, mm-hmm. in any occupation, like, they're, you're bound to get burnout at some point. Because it's just like, especially when you're doing it every single day, all the time, over and over again. Like, with your job. It's like with school, I get really... <sighs> yeah but um I guess like I also push myself to finish that but that's because that's like you know deciding my future I think yeah the reason artists talk about it more is because you know like if you're not doing it for a job it's even harder to to finish because there's no real motivation it's like yes you'll get it done at the end but it's not like you're going to college now yeah it's like it's not gonna kill you if you don't complete it unless it is your job but if it's not your job then it's like not like it's but okay. even if it is your job art is uh, much more it's not like you do a math problem there's like a thing to it like yeah. a formula to get through and you just have to get through it it's like um i mean much more creative there's so many like different ways you could go with it which is why i think it's possible to burn out like even easier in that field yeah there's no like finite end like you have to be the mm-hmm. decider of like when it's done which is, like, hard because then, like, sometimes, like, with some projects it is, like, I know when I'm finished. Like, this is what I want for it. This is my goal. But then, like, with some projects it's, like, like I don't know when it's going to be done. So, like, you're, like, there's no, like, finish line sometimes. This is why people storyboard things. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. Unless you, if you're a good planner, then there's typically yeah, but, an like, end. I... But also, sometimes you just kind of jump into it and you're, like, I mean, when you, have, it's done. when you have a good idea, you just want to, like, get going, and then halfway through, you're kind of, like, oh. you don't even have the motivation to, like, feel like, this is what the end I want to be, like, because you're already burnt out. Yeah, you're just, like, I also feel like there's a lot to do with, like, 
thinking it's not good enough to finish, like, like, like self-doubt will play in, and you're just, like, you're, like, why am I doing this? Like, it doesn't even look good. Like, I don't even like it. Like, that happens to me, like, five times throughout each project. I'm, like, like, the pacing's wrong, everything's wrong, but... Yeah, and then I'm just like, no, I don't want to finish it because it's, it's like, ugly. It's like, in the moment, I can't convince myself that when it's finished, I will be happy with the product. So it's like an even more like, it's kind of like trying to convince myself so that I won't have the burnout anymore. Like, there's two tactics to dealing with burnout. It's like, one, you kind of like push through and you take breaks and you do different hobbies. And two is just, you don't do it anymore. Yeah. You just kill the burnout by killing the project. By killing the project. Which is sometimes just easier than dealing with the burnout. Yeah, it also like, depends on the project. Like, is it important to you? Because, of course, there's burnout, but there's also, like, can you dif- um, differentiate differentiate, differentiate different- burnout from you just not wanting to do the project anymore? Yeah, because it's, like, is it dislike or is it a lack of motivation? Yeah. It's hard. It's very hard. But, I mean, like, I feel like hobbies help... And then, like, overall, just, like, remembering that, like, there is the end of it. Like, it will come to an end. Like, like, you just have to keep working on it. I'm always, like, in the moment, I'm like, like, it's not really good. Like, why am I even doing this? And it's usually at the beginning. But then once I get, like, far and deep enough, I'm like, like, I have to finish it. Yeah, like, you Like, if I scrap this, this has been four months of my life. Who am I? Yeah. (laughs) Like, it's, like, at that point, like, you just have to push through it's, and finish it. I, I think there's a rule for that, like, you know how, like, there's a peak end rule. Like, there's stuff like that, like, a psychology thing of, like, once you're, like, more than halfway into something or you're, like, watching a video more than halfway, you are more than likely going to stick with it just because you've been doing it for that long. Yeah. And so I guess that could also be a, a tactic with helping burnout. It's, like, obviously give yourself breaks and stuff. But just try and push to that point where you know you're going to have to finish it. Mm -hmm. So that... Because you're so far in already. You can take as many breaks as you want without being like, oh, well, what if I just scrap it? Because you know you won't scrap it. Mm -hmm. Because you've already put so much effort into it. That is burnout. That is burnout. And it happens a A lot. A lot to everyone. I'm sure a lot of other people have talked about burnout. Oh, yeah. But I have not... I have not used any theories that really work with burnout other than do it a lot. Just, just, just keep do doing it, it and you'll eventually it. finish it. Ah. Yeah, there's no real cure for burnout. I mean, it's just no. something that everyone has to cope with. And and it can really get, like, worse with um, different people's mental health and stuff. Yeah, like... Oh, especially people with ADHD. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, you must get distracted, right? And then I get, not... like... Like, my thing is that I will start, like too many projects at once that to where like I'm like doing too much at once or like I like jump into something that's way too big that I'm just like like I make a mess and like I'm just like doing like things and like the project isn't even good and I'm not really interested in it anymore but like I'm still doing it because I like feel the need to finish I've also got like a like I always feel like I need to be doing something like constantly so, like, I just, like, don't allow myself to rest. And I think that adds to burnout because I'm, like, so burnt out. But I can't stop. I'm, like, addicted. <laughs> yes, I, I have to keep, keep going. going. Especially with, like, building my armor and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, that gets me, like, in a hole. I'll be, like, in my room at, like, 2 a.m. with my glue. Like Yeah, you've said you, you, <sighs> you do it for a long time. Like, I'm sure staying up later worsens the burnout, right? Yeah. Like, it has to. Like, I, like, will get stuck, like, where I can't stop. That's, like, my thing. And then, like, once I finish it, then I'm, like, so burnt out that I don't want to do anything else. Because I just, like, obsessively obsessed over something for too long. I used to have the problem of, like, having the creativeness to, like, write a whole story, but getting burnt out halfway through, then coming back to it, like, a month later, and then I kind of forget what happened, and now the plot is, like, everywhere. And, like, yeah, it's, like, like you're like what, this what, is was not the original story. Before? I've redesigned the characters five times. I don't know what's going like, on. What's happening? It gets so confusing. And, like, also, like, I'll start a project, and then I'll come back to it, and I'm like, ew, what is this? Like, what was I doing? Yeah, like, y- your opinion will change if it really fast. Like, sometimes the burnout can affect the quality of the work, like, at the end. Yeah. And then you come back to it, and you're like, that, what like, I sucks. Like, <laughs> like, what what happened? Happened? Yeah, I feel like the burnout makes you sloppier. Like, it, like, mm-hmm. makes your work less You don't have good. the energy to make it be at your top, top but you're level. like, I want to finish this. 
so you just keep doing it, but it's not going to be up to the quality that you put on yourself. It's, like, awkward. Awkward, yeah. It's just, like, awkward and strange. So, Merlot, you remember that? Yeah. Like, I had that story There's so the story many, that like, stories. Um, and I just, it was never up to my standards whenever I went back to it. And I fully thought, like, this was one of the things I fully thought I was going to scrap, like, a couple times. But I still kept the work because I was like, maybe I can look back on it later. And I did, multiple times, and I never liked what it was. Really? I wasn't even what burnt out, like, well writing it, but, like, only at the end. But I still didn't like the first part, so I kept, like, trying to redesign it. And then while I was burnt out, I was like, I still really want to do it. I just, like, can't get it right, and that would make me more burnt out. Yeah. Which is a vicious cycle. It's like a cycle, yeah. yeah. It's a burnout cycle. Which is not very fun at all. I'm Ooh. sure there's some, like, uh, mental health professional that's like, oh, I know how to, exactly how to deal I with I know that. how to deal with burnout. But, like, and I'm we're sure. just like, what do we fucking do? What it's are we doing? It's fucking horrible. What are we doing? But, like, for, for different people, it, it must be, there can't be, like, one universal solution for this. Yeah, I'm no. sure. It's gotta be, like, depending on who you are, like, how you deal with it. Like, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of. Is that that the end? I can't. <laughs> I can't tell when we're supposed to end I, these things. I don't. I mean, I don't really have any. I'm, that that was my. That's my word limit. I'm on my word I'm, limit, guys. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right.